Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Trust plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today we are going to be discussing complex roofs. Um, I've gone ahead and added one more icon to the complex roof toolbar as you can see. We now have five icons. The first icon of course is just to go ahead and draw the complex roof. To edit is the next. Then we can move the roof edges and edit roof planes and finally uh, we have the complex roof connection icon which allows us to essentially merge roofs. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back. So to get started here I've gone ahead and just drawn um, these simple little uh, solids to kind of represent some walls that I want to put some roofs on. This one here is going to represent a chimney and again this is a these are all groups as you can see um, they're also solids and <clears throat> these don't matter so much but this one will matter because this one is going to be um, utilized in connecting with the roof and whenever you have a connection with a roof you, and you want to use a generic solid or group you, it needs to be as I said uh, um, previously a, a solid. So let's go ahead and uh, draw these roofs real quick just to get them started and I'm just going to go ahead with the defaults and um, throw down some uh, hip roofs real quick here. So we just trace out our outline and we go ahead and alright so we've got our first roof there. Granted these uh, structures are a little bit small but um, they, they should do the trick for uh, demonstration purposes. Alright let's go ahead and make one more roof here up on top. <coughs> traces out quickly for you. Alright, so there's our second roof. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know if I like the pitch on that one. Um, let's, let's bump that up a little bit, so let's go ahead and edit that roof. Uh, let's bring that up to say oh, 812 maybe. That's a little better. And let's bring this one up. Let's go ahead and just bring this up to 812 as well. I should have set that initially, but I didn't. Okay, so now we've got a little bit more definition going on there with the roofs. <coughs> okay, so the first thing I want to demonstrate is the new terminal roof plane option. So as you know, you can uh, edit these uh, various roof planes, and when you have a outside 90 degree and outside 90 degree corner, you can do um, you know various configurations like Dutch gables and half hips and, and uh, gables. And of course, uh, the gable, um, you can apply a gable uh, to inside corners in certain orthogonal positions like right here you could you could do theoretically do a, a gable roof so but we're not going to demonstrate that today mostly all I wanted to show you was um, the new terminal option and to make things easy I'm just going to go ahead and take this wall layer turn this off to kind of get everything out of the way except for the roofs and I'm going to go ahead and click this edit roof plane and as you see everything hides except for um, well, it doesn't. I, I, I don't have it set up right now to hide gutters and, and soffit and fascia, and even the rake um, rake boards, but uh, or the uh, subfascia. Sorry, uh, but I might I may do that. But the main thing is I just want to expose the roof outline. And as you can see, as you mouse over these outlines, um, it will highlight that edge, the or roof plane edge that you want to edit. So right on this one right here, we're going to go ahead and edit this one. <clears throat> and once it, it once it grabs it, it, will, it you know it basically turns all its layers back on. So the the th item that I've added here is this what I call terminal uh, option. And when you select terminal, you'll notice that all of the options go away, and that's because there is no overhang, there is no you know subfascia. And we'll go ahead and hit update on that. Let's go ahead and close that. So what I'm going to show you here is that with terminal, and actually we're going to turn off the uh, the <coughs> the uh, the outline and the hidden layer just so we can get rid of the roof primitive and show you what we've got okay so basically with that sort of um, well let's turn back on the the outline so you can see where everything's lining up so you can see that when you do select the terminal option it basically just essentially chops the roof it's kind of almost like a gable configuration but the gable of course uh, will have you know an overhang and some uh, other things going on Whereas the uh, terminal is just like you chop the roof, uh, just you know, right right through. So um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just change this uh, this one right here uh, to a gable configuration, just so we can compare the two. Okay, so, and that should be fine. 
and I've got you know the boxed uh, <coughs> soffit and fascia on the end. We could switch that out as well. But you can see what happens with a gable. You know, you've got you've got a lot more going on, whereas with the uh, the terminal, you don't. And and the reason for the terminal, of course, is exactly the sort of configuration we have here. So if we turn on those walls you can see that that roof just ends right up against that wall and that's what we want okay so that's a uh, real quick um, you know th there's not much to it as the terminal config a uh, roof plane configuration that might come in handy um, now I think what I want to show you guys is the uh, intersecting of roofs or connect roof connections I call them <clears throat> so so let's assume now that this um, this roof was not way up here on a second story but instead was maybe, um, well, let's go ahead and just bring it down. Uh, let's see, let's just drive this guy down. I want to actually go in the Z direction, sorry. <coughs> um, I don't know, let's say six feet down from where it is. Okay, that should work. And I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and hide this solid for now. I don't need that. And by the way, these solids, I'm just using them to kind of represent walls. I'm not really using them uh, for anything other than just help me lay out the roofs. So here's an example now of a roof that... Um, uh, I'm going to hide this one too as well, just for now. Um, <coughs> so so with, with, with intersecting roofs, what you have to understand is that basically the way it's wor it works is when you intersect this roof with this roof, the right now the way I have it set up and you know there will be more complications as we add in the roof framing but basically it just subtracts it does like a boolean subtraction of the roof the other roof primitive uh, against the elements of this roof and then and vice versa so for instance you know this is this would not work for us because you know we want that to extend all the way to that roof so what I would do is I would probably um, I would move this roof edge over so I'm just going to go ahead and move, move roof edge, and then I'm just going to grab this edge, and I'm going to shove it over. Maybe, oh, it, you know, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Let's say three feet. Okay. So now it extends into the other roof. Okay. So that's great. And so now you can see that the roof planes will, you know, they'll they'll, they'll make their way into that other roof. And you know, you could extend it further. There's really no. Um, definitive uh, you know number this has to extend past it just needs to be far enough past that it we can get the uh, right uh, roof planes to be created so now uh, basically all you have to do is you just go ahead and select you know kind of get things lined up where you want them and even if they don't line up you can always move things around uh, go ahead and click this um, you know the roof the complex roof connection icon and then it doesn't really matter which order you select which roof first um, <coughs> it, 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 but but the thing is is you do the first one that you do select you'll notice right down here it'll say select first roof assembly is you need to the first thing that you select is a roof assembly okay so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll select this one first and then we'll go ahead and select this one okay and then it's thinking and it's doing its thing and you'll notice now that it has created um, well, it's it's taking care of all the boolean subtraction, and it's basically cut your roof out. Okay, and if we were to turn back on our um, our hidden walls here, just to kind of show you where everything's kind of laying out. And again, these walls are just kind of for demonstration purposes. Okay, so you know, obviously this wall's way too tall, but <coughs> if we did move that down. I think we made it down seven feet or six feet. Six feet was it? Yeah. Okay. So y you can see that um, you, you know all of our fascia and everything is kind of lining up w where we need it to be, and it's cutting that out properly. Now, obviously, we got to do something with that, but but the point is, I'm just trying to show you that um, this ties in nicely, and and that everything works out. Okay, so. Now you might ask, well, <coughs> let's take this and take this and let's push those down, oh, I don't know, maybe another three feet down. Okay, so now you can see, you know, this this roof is below this roof. The, you know, when I say below, I mean the, 
the gutter the gutter line or the fascial line is is dropped below okay the whole point of having this um roof connection uh feature is that you can basically have complex roofs that are connecting that don't line up on the on the fascial or the gutter um because that that is a limitation of course with the complex roof modules when you create a roof it, it will line these the gutter all along the same line <coughs> vertically <coughs> so Right, so if we were to regen this right now, um, it wouldn't quite work because, well, we can do that. Let's go ahead and hit regen. Okay, um, because, right, the, the roof doesn't extend far enough. Well, no big deal. And, and, of course, we can regen this one. And you'll notice what happens. Okay, so, again, it's... Um, I'm going to hide the walls layer again. You can see that it, it goes ahead and heals itself, takes care of stuff but this does not extend far enough. So the solution there is just to simply get in and move the roof plane. Um, let's just move that roof edge. Bring this in, you know, maybe another, um, I don't know how much we need to go. What was it, three feet? Yeah. That should do the trick. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, this is not exactly a exact process here. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, but... Uh, this is another foot. Okay. Thought I got that over enough. Maybe I didn't. Let's move that roof edge one more time. Okay, there we go. So now we've gone ahead and moved that in. Now you can see that um, that roof plane regen, but we didn't. We didn't. We need to regen this roof plane. So very simply, just grab it, regen it. Okay, and you'll notice it. And you can see that's the cool thing about this whole thing is like, you know, if we decide to move these roofs relative to each other, we don't have to have any special tools or that. We just use the native tools. We can take, uh, you know, shift things around, juggle things up a little bit. You know, if I move this over three feet, for instance, okay, well then, you know, everybody freaks out. Hey, we got a hole there, you know, everything. Okay, no problem. Just go ahead and regen that roof. And that one actually didn't need regening, but if we regen this one. Now it's moved everything. It's it basically redoes the building subtraction and, and cleans things up where it needs to be. So okay, so that's um, yeah. I mean, it it kind of is gives you that ability. You know, there are some limitations right now with this as far as um, when you start um, merging things with gable roofs and Dutch get hips and that sort of thing. You might uh, r right now. I do need to do a little bit more work with that. Um, but when you start merging hip roofs against hip roofs like this or intersecting them sorry not really merging them um it things seem to work out quite reasonably well uh so we do you know need to do a little bit more work uh, with gables and and some of the more exotic uh, uh, roof plane configurations all right so let's turn on that uh unhide everything i think we had all hid actually no we turned it off here um so i'm going to take and bring in this little chimney i created uh, let's just go ahead and drop that. Doesn't matter really where. Drop that, say right there. Okay, and <clears throat> as I as I noted earlier, the one thing is is when you do want to do like a boolean subtraction with the roof with a, a, a generic solid, you need to have a a name or an instance name assigned to that solid so that the plugin can keep track of uh, you know what that is that it's it's subtracting with otherwise it, it won't let you select it so in this particular case we are going to basically connect this chimney to this roof and so all you do is you go down here again you need to the first item you need to select is a roof assembly not this it won't let you select a, the solid it needs to be first a roof a valid Medique roof assembly and then once you select that, then it'll prompt you to select a second roof assembly or, to, or a solid group. In this case, we're going to do the solid group. Okay, and as you can see, it has now chopped out our chimney. Of course, in, in this case, you'd probably add in a little cricket here, back up against the roof. Um, but I'm going to leave that to the user to do. And just to verify what we've got going on here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this back. And you will see that, yes, indeed, it has cut that out. Okay, so now the question is, well, what happens now? Let's say we we don't want to merge this roof with this roof anymore, or you know, what for whatever reason, or we do, or, or we've gotten rid of the chimney. Okay, <clears throat> so 
a couple things. One is you can just basically remove the chimney and it will try to do a subtraction and it'll keep that in the database and it will just say, you know, I can't make the subtraction and it should be just fine. The other more proper way to handle it is just go in here and when you edit the complex roof, you're going to notice now that this little section pops up, the complex uh, roof connection options. And you'll see here in this selection um, drop down that you have all the things that the, this particular roof assembly is connecting to. So in this case, we're connecting to this solid chimney one, and we're also connecting to this roof, other raft roof assembly. So you can go ahead and select one of these things and to, to remove the connection you don't hit update all you need to do is you just click this button right here this update button will update all of the other options but it does not it does not handle this particular option this option is handled strictly with the remove connections tool so let's go ahead and remove that chimney one I'm gonna remove that connection and as you can see if I go ahead and move this out of the way that now it is gone. And same thing uh, over there. So if we want to remove um, this connection, okay, and you'll notice now everything goes away. And if we looked here at this guy, um, I'm going to just pull this back just so you can see. You know, that roof is back to where it was extended out. Now, one thing to note is when you remove that connection, the connection to this this guy connecting to this guy uh, this roof connecting to this roof is not removed so if I were to um, edit this <coughs> um, you'll notice that that connection is still there and, and that doesn't hurt anything um, and we can remove that connection if we want or choose to or, or not choose to so for instance if we you know brought this back in um, somewhere let's just move it over here just to demonstrate um, and I'm not sure why you might want to do this, but there might be that possibility. I'm going to go ahead and regen this guy. And so now, I'm turn the walls off here. So, so you can see that this this roof, you know, this roof here does not know about this roof. It, it's not connected to it anymore. Uh, and then when we regen it, you'll see that, you know, it it's not doing a subtraction. Whereas this roof is uh, aware of this roof, and it's subtracting it away. Um, but again, it, the, you can you can have that sort of scenario. You can set that up. It's just a matter of of going in and editing your uh, your roof assembly and removing whatever connections you want. And of course, if you remove them, you can always reconnect them, right? So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. And just hit close, and then I'm going to regen this guy. Actually, I think it might have already regen. Yes, it does. So so now these two roofs are no longer connected in any fashion. And of course, our chimney went away. So in a nutshell, I think that demonstrates kind of what you can do with this um, this new feature. You can also use it to create some dormers. However, I do want to come up with a more uh, elaborate uh, dormer routine, which you know kind of I I got I would say about halfway uh, with the previous dormer operation. But um, now I want to take it a bit st a step further and and uh, get that a little further further along. Um, so anyways, give me uh, some comments, some feedback, give this thing a whirl. It's, it's definitely new and uh, you know, I'm sure it has a few rough edges, um, but we're trying, I'm trying to get it to the point where it uh, works reliably and uh, gives you the flexibility you need to come up with some really uh, interesting roof designs. Once again, thank you for your support and I will talk to you later.